So this Rooftop Tuesday is going to be just a little bit different. Today I am uh, remembering someone and honoring someone who um, was really instrumental part of my musical career as well as my audio career, incidentally. Um, his name was Van McLean, and he played in a, sh- a band called Shooting Star. Shooting Star was a band that almost made it really huge. Um, they just they didn't they just didn't quite make it to the big times, and I think that was probably for for the best. Uh, Van was always had tremendous gratitude for what happened with his band. He opened for Journey and and Kansas and uh, some of these really big acts that were touring in the 70s and 80s. They played kind of that classic rock sound. Well, Van was a good family friend of ours, and that's how I got to know him. And in fact, this guitar right here that I have um, is a French-made guitar called a Lag, and this is a legacy of Van. Um, he, he bought this guitar directly, gave it to me, and I bought it from him when I was in a pinch, and I needed to play at a wedding about 10 years ago. He helped me get it. He he had his fingers in almost every guitar that I purchased and amp. He was helpful in getting, securing all those things. So he was really big in my young musicianship as a guitarist, which is what I originally wanted to do was, was play guitar before I got into composing and ultimately filmmaking. But Van was the one that first sat me down and, and taught me exactly what a compressor is and what it does uh, and how it actually works on music. He showed me what a limiter does and how that works and and how to use Waves plugins and and what they did. And he was really the first one to show me all those tools before I even got into production. So if you are benefiting from this channel and and some of the things that I talk about with audio, Van has a direct Van has a direct influence on you then through me. So anyway, I wanted to take some time to just kind of honor him by playing one of my favorite songs that he wrote. It's called Let's Roll. He wrote it after Uh, September 11th is kind of about the Todd Beamer situation inside United Flight 93. Um, And uh, when he wrote it, you know, I was around. I was was younger, obviously, in seventh grade. But I was playing the guitar then, and he was showing me things as a kid. He actually taught me the main riff uh, from this track. So that riff, he taught me directly in his studio in the basement of his house. So... Van uh, died earlier this year after having a long battle with West Nile virus and the complications that came from that. And so this is my way of remembering and honoring Van McLean. On his way to San Francisco Another early morning flight he Kissed his wife and kids goodbye he Never dreamed he'd have to fight for his life Never things got tough He took a good look at his life He never sit and watch He just turned to his wife And said On their face, there's a stranger in the aisle with bombs strapped to his waist. Says we're going down. There's no time to sit back. There's no time to say farewell. He turned to his friends and said, "Let's send these guys to hell." He said.
comes a time for everybody to get down on their knees and pray. But nobody's ever ready to stare the devil in the face and spit in his eye. And in his darkest hour, when he knew. 